seven from you know three. I mean, did you go in thinking that you were going to see your guys shoot that ball many, many times? Yeah, you don't ever go to a game uh, thinking you're going to shoot the ball that bad. Um, the the crazy about thing about our team, you know, the first two scrimmages, I think we averaged almost 13 made threes uh, a game. But you know, obviously, when you're playing a power five school. Um, the, the size of the athletes is so much different. You know, they're they're so much more physical. They're stronger. Um, so it was good for our guys. You know, we're we're in year two, um, and I, I think this game with Pitt should happen. You know, every other year, if Coach Capel would agree to it, we would love to do it. You know, financially, it really helps uh, our athletic department. There's no doubt about it. Um, but I thought it was good for our young guys. You know, we had freshmen, we had sophomores out there. Uh, you can only learn and get better from this, no doubt about it. Talk about the gentleman to your left and what he did. Yeah, well, uh, you know, part of coaching and, and recruiting is find kid, finding players um, that just love basketball and buy in the team. Um, and what Ola does, he comes in every day with a smile on his face, great attitude, very, very coachable, very athletic. Um, he'll be an all-league guy down, down the line. You know, he... Um, every, every single day since we've gotten him, um, he's been a joy to coach, and that's that's why he coach. You know, uh, we can we can learn a lot from from Ola, what he brings. Not Coach, only a basketball player, but a person. Coach, you had that four minute stretch where you, know, you guys didn't score you know, in the second half. I think in that you had like five missed threes in a row. Do you think you know the shot selection was you know one point? From the yeah, you know we want to play fast. Um, you know, Pitt's uh, broadcaster for radio asked me before the game how how many threes you want to shoot. And, you know, we don't really set a number, um, but we had been averaging close to 35 or 40. Um, and if you make, you know, seven or eight more uh, or even five more, it's a different ball game. Um, but, you know, I like Coach Cape. I like what he's done. Uh, you know, when I was at West Virginia, that, that rivalry was so awesome. They'd be a part of that. And I think uh, what he and his staff's doing um, is awesome. You know, I see it, follow the Twitter. He's out in the city. Uh, the guy's going to recruit. Um, and they're going to win. There's, there's no doubt about it here. Jerry, talk about your defense, especially in the first half of what you guys did. I don't know if it was defense or it was just early November basketball. Uh, I think it was a combination. Um, you know, it was like going to the dentist for both teams. You know, it was painful to watch, I'm sure, as fans. Uh, but, you know, the kids were playing hard. I mean, they were really battling. And um, it's early. You know, it's November 6th. We moved up the season uh, a week. Um, and you could tell that. You know, with our guys, I thought it was jitters. I don't know what Coach would, you know, Coach Cable would say with his guys. But it's just early, and, and both teams just couldn't make shots. Um, I'm sure it was very discouraging to have – Pitt being the double bonus with all those fouls that you committed before the second half, wasn't it? Before the yeah, middle but part I, but I'll tell you the the crew we had on the game, um, it was big time. You know, Joe DeRosa is, is about as good as official as you'll get. Uh, he was an NBA official, um, so we've got to do a better job. You know, we've. We brought in officials, and you know we play pretty hard, pretty aggressive. We've got to clean that up. There's no doubt about it. But I think what Pitt's doing, you know, with four guards, um, that's how the game's being played. And those guys put so much pressure on the rim. Uh, all four guys can create. Those two freshmen are really good. Um, so I, I think they're going to be a hard team to keep out of the paint. You know, but uh, they 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 just wore us out going to the basket. Well, uh, for you and a lot of your teammates, you know, this is your first time kind of being in an environment like. How do you think you, know, you guys as a team handled things? Uh, we we could have handled it better, but yeah, there's not really much to say. But I think we did like an okay job coming out in the first half. We just need to keep our composure in the second half and <coughs> just stay strong, finish strong. That's all I can say. Oh, we're talking about your uh, defense, especially those three blocks early on. The, that was a big momentum changer, definitely, because it got the whole team fired up. We just didn't make our shots. That's, yeah, that's basically it. You mentioned your time at West Virginia. What changes have you seen in this program you know, since then? Um, you know, I, I think Jeff Capel uh, was a tremendous hire. Um, you know, I think the whole country was waiting to see who Pitt was going to hire because I think their tradition up here is so, so strong. And I can remember coming into this building at 5.15, 5.30 with Coach Huggins, and the Oakland Zoo was, was already sold out. Um, and I think that's what's going to happen. You know, he's, 
he's connected. Um, obviously, he can coach. Um, so you know, it'll be be anxious to see what what he gets this thing back. And what do you think of how the press was tonight? Um, our press, you know, it was okay. Uh, you go into these these high major money games, and you you know you think, should we press them? Should we do what we do, or should we give ourselves a chance? So then we kind of pack it in. Uh, you know, we don't press, and then we don't make any shots. And it's 27-24, and you're thinking, man, we should probably should have came out and pressed them. But gentleman up here to the right said, you know, a lot of fouls. So when you get four or five fouls, it's hard to press. Um, but we did turn them over a little bit. You know, they had 16 turnovers, but. You know, a lot of those were, were from the young guys. You know, uh, McGowan's had seven. Uh, as he gets experience and, and um, uh, the other guys, Xavier Johnson, get experience, those two guys would be good. They'll be good in the ACC. Jared, when you see a guy like Jeff Cable come in here and start three freshmen, play a for He's smart, face, man, he's smart. I was going to say, what was it like to see? What kind of impression does it make on you as a fellow coach? to see how he went about his first game at Pitt? Yeah, I think it's smart, you know, play, play those young guys, get them experience. Um, you know, I think your one's always the toughest uh, when you're trying to rebuild. You know, everybody talks about those aren't your guys, but those are his guys. You know, he's the head coach of Pitt, and um, he's done a tremendous job uh, with, with those guys. Um, but he did. He decided to go with the three freshmen in this game, and that's probably smart because those kids are only going to get better, the experience. And that's why we went with two. You know, we started two freshmen, two sophomores. Uh, we had two kids that, you know, they opened up at Pitt. You know, that's, that's pretty difficult. We had four junior college guys, you know, open up at Pitt. I don't care what the attendance was, but, you know, it's it's hard to play against those kind of athletes. So I, th I think it was smart by him.